Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again doing another countdown of my top 10 albums from a given year. Today we're all the way into 2007. I started at 2020 and now we're into 2007. I'm having a lot of fun doing these lists and yeah, they're difficult to put together. But there's so many good metal albums every year to pick from. These are just my opinions. Let's just get right into it. Coming in at number 10 is some technical death metal from Florida, Monstrosity, and their album Spiritual Apocalypse. Monstrosity, of course, is well known for being the band that George Corpse Grinder Fisher came from before he went to Cannibal Corpse. He's not on this album. This is later in their career, but this is just a killer fucking death metal album. The riffs are so goddamn catchy. The vocals are great. Like, they didn't really miss a beat even when Corpse Brian corpse grinder left like they have released quality album after quality album i'll probably do a monstrosity ranking at some point of all their albums but yeah best tracks on here firestorm apostles of the endless night is really fucking cool just really fucking killer stuff on this album if you've never heard this go check it out if you like death metal because it's a really catchy death metal album up next at number nine some folk metal moon sorrow with their album v habitetti probably mispronouncing it, it's all in finnish but yeah, epic is what you, the word you would use to define this fucking album. It's only two songs and it's 56 minutes in length. Just absolutely crazy song lengths, but it's so goddamn good. Like this is potentially their best album. I don't know. I got to do a Moonsora rank at some point, but their albums are also goddamn good. If you've been watching these lists pretty much every time they put on an album, it's making my list. But uh, yeah, just some really great folk metal with a blackened edge and they just sure know how to write catchy ass fucking epic songs up next at number eight is some symphonic black metal Demu Borgir with the album Insorte Diaboli this is definitely in the later stages of their career where they were a little more commercial but this album is just catchy as all fuck you got um Hellhammer on drums from Mayhem and you still got ICS Vortex on bass and doing some clean vocals, which really adds an extra element to this. It's not just all screaming. The clean vocals he does on here are fucking amazing. And some of the songs, like, yeah, the Sacrilegious Scorn, I love the fucking singing in there. The Chosen Legacy is great. The double kicks are so fucking fast. Like, don't just write this off because it's Demu and it's later fucking stages. This is a solid album, and I really fucking enjoy it. Up next at number seven is Primordial with the album To the Nameless Dead. This is a fucking absolutely epic album by an epic band. This is like some Celtic folk metal with blackened tinges. They were definitely more black metal in their early days. This is steering away from black metal, but still incorporates a little bit. Like there's not too many bands that really have this sound at all. They're very unique. You're either going to love it or hate it probably. But I love it. I absolutely love these guys. And this album is fucking one of their best. I uh, will definitely do a Primordial Ranking at some point too. We'll see where this one ends up. But uh, my favorite songs on here are Empire Falls. Heathen Tribes is really fucking great. And yeah, that's why I made my top 10. Coming up next at number 6, some more death metal with Vital Remains in the album Icons of Evil. They got uh, Glenn Benton to do vocals on a couple albums. He's on this one, Glenn Benton from Deicide. And he absolutely slays it on here. Like, the riffs on here and solos are so fucking nuts. Some dude named uh, David Suzuki, I think he does the drums, all the lead guitars. Just absolutely amazing. It's so technical. It's like next level shit. It's so goddamn good. But they still are super catchy songs. The lyrics are so fucking overtly satanic. It's like almost funny, but it's great also. Uh, a couple of great songs on here. Born to Rape the World. Hammer Down the Nails is really fucking catchy and really heavy. Just absolutely love these guys. I will also surely do a Vital Remains ranking at some point. So many bands I still got to do. I'll get to them all eventually. But yeah, if you've never heard Icons of Evil, go listen to it right now. Up next at number five is some black metal with the band Darkestra and the album Epos or Epos. This is another really epic one. It's only one song called Epos and it's like... Uh, 33 35 minutes something like that so that's the whole album is just one track and it takes you so many different places starts with like waves crashing kind of really builds up very slowly but then really comes in fucking aggressive and there's just different places it takes you there's like some marching kind of beats in the middle it's like almost like an epic immortal 
with some bathroom feels and just a lot of atmosphere and just really, really fucking good. I think it's an underrated one. Maybe not too many people know of this, but it's a great fucking album that only has one song and you should go listen to it. Up next at number four, some more folk metal with Ensiferum and Victory Songs. So this is the first album after uh, Yari left to start Winter Sun. Um, this new vocalist, Petri Lindros, he does not drop the ball at all. It's absolutely amazing on here too. His screams are great. The riffs and fucking songs on here are so goddamn catchy. It's definitely one of my favorite Ensiferum albums. Maybe not my number one favorite, but pretty fucking close. The title track on here that ends the album is just absolutely epic. It's a long song. It's absolutely amazing. One of my favorite Ensiferum songs. Deathbringer from the Sky is really fast and thrashy. Just really good, like, melodic death metal, folk metal kind of combination. And they're the best at doing it. And that's why it made that high on the list. Up next at number three, some more black metal with Inquisition and the album Nefarious Dismal Orations. Inquisition, one of my favorite black metal bands of all time. The vocals on this album are so sick, just so awesome, so raspy. And the riffs on here, this is just a very riff-driven album. Absolutely amazing. Um, Ancient Monumental War Hymn, absolutely great song. My favorite on the album is probably Before the Symbol of Satan We Bow and Praise. It's crazy song titles, but just amazing, amazing black metal. If you've never heard Inquisition, go give this album a listen. Up next at number two, sticking in black metal, is Druk with their album Estrangement. Just some atmospheric black metal from the Ukraine. This album only has like four songs, but they are all fucking great. It's a long album for only four songs. That's kind of the Druk style. Put out just like a few songs that are each about 10 minutes in length. And this is just such an atmospheric album. It's got an almost kind of like old Burzum atmosphere feel to it. But solitary, endless path and where horizons end absolutely amazing black metal songs and i love the instrumental outro only the wind remembers my name just killer killer stuff one of my favorite black metal bands and a great album by them and that's why i came in at number two and that just leaves one my favorite album from 2007 is woods of e prey with their third album deepest roots and darkest blues this is like some doom metal with blackened touches they started as a black metal band kind of went more towards just like Almost a pure Doom band by the end. This is in their middle era where it's still like blackened Doom. And this is just a killer, killer fucking album. It's not my number one favorite Woods of E. Prey album, but it's, I think, my number two. And yeah, great fucking tunes on here. The Northern Cold, amazing. December in Windsor is a nice little like acoustic number. Um, Thrill of the Struggle is great. Just all in all front to back. It's a really catchy album. Really good. I mean, maybe I'm biased because I'm Canadian and I fucking love David Gold. He was taken from us too early. But I fucking love this album and it deserved the top spot on my list for 2007. Anyways, that's my list. Let me know down below what your favorite albums from 2007 were. I'm sure I missed some. Like I said, these are just my opinions. I'd love to hear your opinions too. Some albums I missed. Always down to check out some new tunes. Anyways, click on like. Click on subscribe. Until next time, Hammerheart Metal Reviews out.